Have you heard about the new Instagram update again? Now this time you can actually change it. So if you want to know the new creepy little Instagram feature, I wanted to talk about the Instagram algorithm because people wanted to hear explanation. Keep on watching. Stay to the end if you want to learn how you can be the next comment winner. Oh hey, I did not see you there and welcome to today's vlog. I hope you have an amazing day. So we're gonna get this video started. This is long overdue. Uh, uh, okay, I'm always freaking like I'm I'm vigorously applying my makeup. <laughs> long overdue. I'm good. Know me and I've known you. Uh, okay, so I just had a meeting. Now I have another coaching call. And then I have another one. And then I have another one. <laughs> and then I have another one. Ah uh, okay. I actually really enjoy helping people. It's just kind of getting crazy. Yeah, I mean if you guys want to take a look, like my schedule is honestly. <laughs> Cool. Because I see you are a point where you make amazing art. It's just like have any equipment. Good, good, because that's gonna help you. You don't have much, right? That's gonna help you work no. harder. You need to be better than the person with the freaking three thousand dollar camera. If you are t calling me right now, you probably have more than it takes than a person that has a million followers on Instagram. You know why? Because you're hungrier. You need to be go after it. Like you have already what you need. <laughs> to realize there's a lot of people like you selling the same prints so you need to stand out the way you stand out is by by the way guys I'm we're headed to the city oh by the way I have a podcast up with my friend Matt he is an e-commerce Amazon genius I'm gonna link his Instagram YouTube and Snapchat no not Snapchat and in the description box check it out we recorded an awesome fire track. It's finally out, so take a listen. What what is this? Resuming the vlog. Okay, so we're going to Lululemon because your girls look real basic, and then me and my mother are gonna go to Cookie Dough Cafe, which is like I don't know, like some Instagram play. All right, guys. So it's a uh, car chats with Jane. Okay, honestly, Cookie Dough Cafe, interesting concept. 10 out of 10. Practicality, 5 out of 10. Like, it just tastes like really chunky ice cream that's warm. So, today we're talking all about the new little Instagram update. I'm basically having it visible whether you're active or not, which is like creepy. A lot of guys don't know, but people now can tell when you're online on the DMs when you're ignoring someone or if you're actually not active and it tells you the exact time. It's interesting. Um, I guess this is like similar to Facebook Messenger chats. So are active online. Oh my god. So I don't really mind, but if you want to turn it off, all you gotta do is go in settings, scroll down, and there's a little click button, and you just turn it off. Honestly, guys, it's like quite nice to know when people are active or not. And personally, I'm not affected, but if you are, I know it can be kind of concerning. So, thought I'd share this out with you guys. You guys, a little haul, because your girl actually, like, your girl was going to drop a few hundred dollars today, but she only spent $80. That's a deal. So I'm back home. If you didn't see from my last vlog, which you should check out, I ripped my pants open from like dancing on the street too much. Like I was dropping it low too hard. Thank you guys. Hey, what happened, Jade? I ripped my pants. Like if you don't believe me. So this is what a regular jean leg looks like. This is what happens when you drop it low too hard. So I went shopping for some new pants and I got some new things. I, in my head, I was thinking to spend over like $200, $300 just because I knew that I wanted to get good jeans and I would just, I keep rotating around the same article of clothing and I just need some clothes. This is the haul and I only spent $70. $70! And I shopped at Urban Outfitters and Levi, which is like such a good brand. This is a haul. I'll make it quick. So, from Levi's. Okay, so these are the jeans. These are the jeans! I said these are the jeans so many times. These are the jeans! Guess how much these were! So, these are, these are $98, at least on Urban. And so, I walked my ass over to Levi's. So, it was $25. I. And there's a point in my life where I only bought shit that was like $10 just because I was poor. So this top I got from Levi. Okay, so this is the top. I know it's backwards. Don't even don't even comment, okay? I like it backwards. Because then you can wear it like this. Like a, You know how cute that- Oh shit, there's a tag. 
I think that was a success from Levi's. You guys should check them out. Not sponsored, just happy. And then I got this uh, dress, but it's a romper, but it's so cute. I feel like it's either like you love it or you hate it. So I like it because it's really interesting. There's ruffles and it looks like this. Okay, so you guys know, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys know every Friday I do Market Research Friday and I go around and ask strangers um, questions about the market. And I'm so sorry today, I don't have an episode. So, but what I will do is give you guys a little bit of insight on my tips and tricks on Instagram again. This is not a cute angle. I finished off a coaching call. Like, I would just want to tell you guys everything, but it was very personal. It was very emotional. And I'm, I, basically, I, I was helping this girl out with her uh, business, giving her values, giving her advice. And she just started crying. And I was like, like, touched my heart to see, like, you know, I'm not really anything special. Not even the hardest worker in the world, okay? But it's really cool to see. I wanted to talk about the Instagram algorithm because people wanted to hear explanation. A few months ago, I was probably obsessed with this shit. If you guys want to see the article I read, I'll just pop it right here. Um, they just basically said there's three main changes. They're not even that big. First, when you post something, Instagram may only show it to 10% of your audience. So 90% of your audience are going bye-bye. Uh, second, I think it was like, if you're in any engagement groups, get the f out because it's going to be suspected as spam or shadow ban they're gonna shadow ban you and when they shadow ban you that's even worse honey okay and then the third thing was like I can't remember the third one I'll just pop it right here and I'll let you know um, so I think everyone's freaking out just because you will see probably everyone on their story telling them to turn on my post notifications so I think that's great the only thing there's a problem if every single influencer in Instagram starts asking people to turn on their, you know, notifications. Like, it's kind of annoying. Don't you think about it? Like, who who would want notifications from every single person they're following that they posted something? Like, personally, I don't give a shit. You know, I only turn it on if I care about you. People aren't realizing that if no one gives, no one cares. The people that would do care are people that you probably gave value to, that find your entertaining self entertaining what i'm not trying to be condescending i'm trying to give you guys a straight up answer i don't want to be rah rah like <laughs> like nah. post your cute little hashtag new post i learned a few months ago i probably wouldn't say this but i know that you guys want to hear the truth no one cares post value people will care and, and i got a lot of questions asking what does value mean value is what your audience needs help with for example if you if you're targeting a, someone that's a teenager they probably want a t entertainment as an escapism from the reality so you have to be maybe funny you know singer like entertainment if you are targeting someone who is a business owner give them education teach them about marketing value can come in many forms you can also do entertainment entertainment's huge i don't blame anyone like i hope everyone turns on my post notifications like i'll be offended if you aren't but i just realized at the end of the day everyone's in their own bubble and if you can help people with their bubble they're not gonna be interested in your post if you want to see my content they're gonna see your content because you want to see my content you know like let it be like maybe maybe you just suck maybe you just suck maybe your posts are trash I don't know like I don't know you guys so like, Instagram's doing I keep repeating this they're trying to weed out the sucky players what's gonna happen is when people don't get their likes followers comments whatever they're gonna get insecure and they're gonna give up as long as you don't give up you're still in the game you're still breathing you can still win buying followers will only get you so far Not all the time but maybe a source of security for people confidence but it's only confidence if it's genuine real people that care about your content and that understand what you're trying to put out sorry I don't have a market research Friday I just have a little bit of some car chats with Jade. I honestly, to be honest, I just went out of my house, um, drove around in the circle to talk to you in the car. I don't have anywhere to go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so you guys never see like my night routine just because I have to shut off the camera in order to have enough time to edit the video to post today because I do like day of uploads. But thankfully through this platform, I was able to reach a few editors so I can breathe a little bit. And the rest of my night, I, I honestly just like, I sit here and I live stream with you guys as I'm editing the video. If you want to join my live stream, you can, you know, check out my Instagram, but no pressure. But I want to congratulate the comment winner. And if you want to be tomorrow's comment winner, comment below. I'm just curious, like, do you use Instagram notifications as a consumer? Like, do you actually use it? If you like someone, do you put it on? Or do you turn it on because someone forced you to? I just want to know, what is your opinions on Instagram notifications? I have my notifications actually on mute. Like, I don't have any Instagram notifications on. 
partly because there's too many DMs and messages and it gives me anxiety. <laughs> What's your opinion on Instagram notifications? I want to know. Give this video a like hey, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up, if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.